Hello, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the yet another episode of Chit Chat with Shweta. I'm a little uh, sorry for the little delay we had. It was just because of the technical issue that we were facing. Uh, Ruchika will just join in really soon. Uh, these uh, technicalities can really let your uh, things go haywire. <laughs> so she'll just join in in two minutes. So please, please be with us and we will start as soon as she is here. I think she's having some problem with her mic settings. Let me just check on her. So Nietzsche, there's an option for camera and my Yeah, I just adjust my camera. Hi. Hello. So without wasting any more time, I think we'll yeah. just begin. It's already got a little delayed because of the technical glitches, but it's okay. I'm glad it's all sorted. So I think every everyone has been just waiting to listen to you. So I'll just quickly introduce you. Now, Ruchika is a face yoga practitioner and she has been practicing face yoga for three years now this was something a very new concept for me when i got to know because i've always heard about yoga but face yoga i didn't really know about it so we'll definitely hear it from her but to give a little background about her she has learned her face yoga from a japanese institute and she invites a lot of other things as well into it, be it acupressure or, uh, you know, other things. So that's like a very wonderful combination. And she believes in being eternally youthful. So yeah. yes. I think we all want that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And so she has a very holistic and a natural approach to the entire thing. So welcome, Ruchika, to the show. And I am <laughs> So glad to have you with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me over. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. <laughs> right. So you know, 
I don't want to dilute the entire effect by me talking about it. So we just want to listen from you. What is face yoga? You know, just enlighten us. What is face yoga? <laughs> so face yoga is like any workout, like a normal yoga. So what regular yoga or any kind of workout do does to our body? The same thing face yoga does to the face. So at times, you know, Shweta, what happens that we tend to ignore the fact that we have got facial muscles also. Just like the body muscles, we have got facial muscles as well. You know, okay. with time, if we don't work out our body, so with age, what happens? We start losing these muscles. So just to keep them toned and just to keep going, we get ourselves into a lot of in many kind of workout, like any anything, Zumba, walking, gymming, but whatsoever. So same thing goes with your facial muscles. If you don't use them, you lose them. So what mm. happens when you start? Uh, so there we have got three layers of skin over our facial muscles. So once we start losing our facial muscles, this an overlying skin also starts sagging. So okay. no matter what expensive creams or any product we put on our face, it will not work because obviously the creams or any kind of product that we are using cannot go to the muscles. They cannot tone the muscles, right? They can absolutely. Yeah, they can just work on your skin. So, like I can just give you the example. With age, what happens? Our eyes, a corner of the mouth, and the cheeks they start drooping, drooping with age because of the gravity right. and other factors, right? So, the creams what we are putting cannot uplift the cheeks. It cannot uplift our eyelids, right? So, for that, face yoga come into play. I think you have put it beautifully that you know we work out on entire body, the muscles of all other parts of our body, but face, which is something which creates our first impression, you know. But we never work on the muscles of our face. We never really give it a thought as well. So this is something very important and which is so overlooked. So this is I, I one more thing I want to add on here. You know, facial muscles are closely related to your brain, right? right. So if yes, so if when we are sad, you know, when our this start drooping, so we send a false signal to the brain that we are sad. No matter oh. if we are happy, <laughs> drooping. You know, so we see a lot of aged women who look very grumpy, though they are not grumpy. Not. They look grumpy because with age, it starts drooping down. So they are on an automatic mode of being uh, grumpy. <laughs> uh, you know, they send fake signal to the brain that no, the yeah. we are sad. <laughs> right. <laughs> what got you interested into face yoga? How did you, you know, come across us to got into this? So I got into the face yoga because of a very common problem that is called TMJ. So TMJ okay. is a it's a problem which we it, most of the people have. 90% of the people, they have that clenching teeth problem. When yes. we are 10 or when we are angry, we tend to, you know, clench the teeth yes. like this. <laughs> so, to continue to practice, what happens? We start accumulating a lot of tension in our jaw area. Right. Which leads into some kind of pain. So, usually this pain, you know, that goes by itself. So, in my case, it got little severe. It stayed for a week. Then I had to consult a doctor. And there mm -hmm. I got to know that this is like a very, very common problem. But then I thought that the problem is like so common, there has to be some, you know, common cure also apart from medicines. So there I came across the practice of face yoga. And during that time only, you know, I was like really keen going for Botox because some of the dermatologists... <laughs> To refer me, you know, to go for Botox for my forehead, and I was like all set. But then somebody told me, No, 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 you cannot go, you don't want to look plastic. Right. I thought the face yoga is, you know, solving both my desires, <laughs> helping me get rid of the pain, plus giving me, you know, that youthful thing. <laughs> Right. So next time I have a pain here, I know what is the reason now, you know, instead of just ignoring it, now I would know that uh, I have been clenching my teeth. <laughs> Very common problem. A lot of people, yes. they have a problem. While sleeping also, we tend to clench our teeth. Right, right. 
actually we don't realize we hold lot of tension in our face on our shoulders in fact many a times to woken up with a you know some kind of stiffness over here and i never yeah. realize what it is because of i just you know that it's just some natural thing that it's okay <laughs> let it be yeah we quick for that i'm going to tell you that <laughs> <laughs> right yes i think you know let's just get into the practicality because there are a lot of people who are wanting to know that what are the small small things we can implement so since it's a covid time and we are in front of our screens most of the time so i'm sure our this part is getting affected majorly you know areas around our eyes so what do you have for us you know how can we take care of our eyes great so you know not just the eye it's entire our entire face our entire body is getting affected because of the lot of tension and worry involved with onset of this covid 19 right just like what you said you get up with lot of pain why you are getting that pain because when we are sleeping we tend to accumulate lot of tension in our jaw area you know right now also just try to press the point behind your ears you know that indented point you can feel that sweet pain right right okay uh, yes yes so why is it that that is like you know a lot of tension that you has accumulated there so okay. because of sleep yoga we can release this pain okay so here's a very quick fix for the morning routine what you said i always tell my people because this is my favorite exercise <laughs> so it's have to say wow Wow. wow okay with our mouth open <laughs> yeah and if you don't want to get too vocal about it you can just you know move your mouth like okay okay so as you do it 10 times you'll feel this area getting little loosened up okay, okay. so first thing in the morning whenever you're going to the washroom you know to brush your teeth and stuff so what you can do you can just look yourself into the mirror and just start you know saying mirror in the bathroom you can just go yes. vocal about it yes. <laughs> you can say wow you feel wow <laughs> absolutely yes. so that will set the tone of your day <laughs> you and it's like perfect start to multi purpose it's helping us release the tension as well and it's just giving such a big good start as well <laughs> and you are all set for a wow day ahead <laughs> right so this is something which i really really always tell my people that you say that you know with time you say 10 times in set of 3 and you okay. see that that this area is getting loosened up the tension is released you know so mm-hmm. this will really really going to help you. okay and the second thing if you still feel that the pain is there I, what I told you, just go behind your ears to that indented portion, mm-hmm. which is little more delicate. So you can just press it. You can feel that sweet pain there. So you know that that is the correct point. Correct. So you can just okay. press it for like five seconds. Go clockwise. Okay. And then go anti-clockwise five times. You do both okay. the sides. So and do we do both together, or we do one at a time? Like behind one both together, you can do both. Together. No, no, you can do both the both the sides together. Okay, okay, okay. That indented part. Okay, so this really this is the acupressure points. So right, okay, right. so yeah. So uh, as I always say, face yoga is just not about the exercises. It involves a lot of other stuff like the acupressure, which I told you. It right. involves long massages. which really really mm-hmm. help to deep off right we tend to accumulate a lot of lymph so you know what is lymph lymph is basically all the toxins that mm-hmm. we accumulate in our face right. okay that is supposed to be transported back to the heart so that it can get released so with okay. massage what happens we help to you know release those toxins from our body and that really help to deep off the skin at times you know you will f- notice that skin is really getting swollen up you feel very bloated so yes. why that that is because of the toxins that has been accumulated right 
Okay. Yes. So, you know, you talked about releasing the tension, but another very common problem, and especially women, they are really concerned about is the wrinkles, you know, on their faces. So, how do we tackle that through face yoga? Yeah. So, Shana, it's like, um, it is the it will take the you know the facial muscles they are like really connected to each other, so it's not like okay I'm just getting wrinkle on my cheeks so maybe I'll start working on that and then I'm forgetting about my forehead. No, okay. we have to take the entire face as a unit, so we'll okay. work on it together. So like now I can just you know tell you about few things, like mm -hmm. the eye area. This mm -hmm. is the most common problem area. We have dark circles. Crow's yes. feet, droopy eyes. Yes. And with the onset of COVID, what we are doing full time, we are on phone or the laptop, having Zoom meeting one after <laughs> another. So it is really affecting this area. <laughs> so here I want to share one more thing uh, to, my, to all people that we have got you know, two sets of muscles in on our face. One is like the overworking muscles, like our forehead muscles and the mouth muscles here. Okay. And few are okay. underwork muscles, like the under eye muscles. Okay. okay. So with time, when we're not using these muscles, that's why here, the, you know, this is the place where we see the signs of aging first right. around the eye area because the skin is already very delicate and we are not using these muscles. Okay, so today I, I would like to share um exercise for our, these oculi muscles, these round muscles, what we have. Mm -hmm. So we can do it together and you can feel right. your muscles working in this area. Okay. So it's okay. very simple. Yeah. What we can do, we can just make a V out of the middle finger and the index finger. Keep the middle finger, the inner corner of the eyes and the other one at the outer corner of the eyes okay, okay. and now look straight and then try to squint like this squint for 10 try to lift your lower eyelid squint for 10 seconds you will feel a little shaky right, right. Like, let's, do let's do it for 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now just close your eyes for five seconds okay one two three four five now open your eyes as wide as possible yes straight one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten. Come back and relax. <laughs> Do you feel that burn? But like uh, when we were squinting our eyes, it was continuously, you know, shaking and blinking. So that's okay. That is okay because we are working on these muscles. We don't okay. work on our dry muscles. Right. So that's what. See, this is again face yoga works on resistance training. Why we are using these things? We can do like this also. But why mm -hmm. we are using this is giving the resistance. Like when we are squinting, our okay. eyes want to close. But this is, you know, not letting our eyes close. So like then we go to gym. We use dumbbell for resistance training. Similarly, right. here we are using our hands as in resistance training. So what should be the frequency, Rochika, of doing these exercises? How long, how often should we do? We have to do 10 seconds every time like what we did in a set of three see repetitiveness is it yeah we have to min maintain that consistent you can do this morning evening it doesn't take long and you can do it every day okay. you, cannot, uh, you cannot think okay and i want to add on here that face yoga is a completely a natural thing like yoga is a natural thing so it's not like you are thinking, oh, maybe I'm doing it wrong. No, no, no. It's not like that. Not like that. Okay. So two things that you're not causing any extra lines anywhere. Like when you are doing it like this, don't raise your eyebrows and get those lines. Right. So we have to be you know, really careful about the thing. 
we don't want extra lines so if you were thinking so that's why i always you know prefer i always tell people start doing it in your self in the mirror right then do it and you can see if you are having those lines then we can do something about that correct but you know we are an impatient lot right we need to see results instantly how long does it take to at least see some kind of changes no so uh, it yes. will take three weeks of what consistent training so you cannot get you know uh, if you're going to a gym once a week right. and you're going to just after two weeks you cannot get those abs so you can get you know the results after consistent practicing of after like three weeks is good time yeah so okay. basically consistency is something which we need to you know be yeah absolutely so here i would like to uh, just share one more exercise for the eye area which is like really soothing and this will give you a fast result okay <laughs> yes yeah, let's do it <laughs> so this is like a acupressure point this will really calm your uh, eye muscle and you know okay. you can do this before going to the bed this will help you get that sleep okay okay so with the finger finger you just like this in a corner of your eye okay mm. for the 10 seconds okay and don't press it too hard this area is really delicate the eye okay. area it's not too harsh again you can if you want you can do two times together mm -hmm. just press for 10 second okay then we can just go you know circular five times and clockwise mm -hmm. and then anti clockwise okay then coming to the center just below your eyeball press it here you might feel a sweet pain this area is like really really tender so again okay. you press i mean you will go clockwise and then anti clockwise and then coming to the corner outer corner of the eyes press it for 10 seconds okay. then you can go clockwise and then anti clockwise okay and then after this we can just go tapping around our ocular muscle orbicular oculi just okay. with your index finger so this okay. way what we are doing we are improving the blood circulation in this area plus we are breaking the lymph what i had talked that uh, we tend to accumulate a lot of toxins in this area right so this way when we are going tapping what we are doing increasing the blood circulation plus yeah. breaking the lymph so both the things is really helpful for the dark circles so we get dark circles because of the lack of blood circulation so nice. this will really yes so this will really boost your blood circulation also while going tap okay and then since we have accumulate broken the lymph around this area what we are supposed to do we are supposed to get it down see terminus is the point thymus sorry thymus is the point which is a collection point of all the lymph collected from the face right. so what we can do we can just you know make a hook out of the index finger and just go swiping like this. yes you can do it together just go yes okay <laughs> Sometimes we can just put the knuckles. And Shweta, please make sure that you are not dragging your skin too much. Right now we are not wearing oil, so we might drag. But please don't drag. And then just get that lymph out, like this. Okay. okay. And, and these give a very relaxation effect as well. Because even while I'm doing it, you know, there's some kind of uh, relaxation which I am feeling. So very soothing effect it is having. Yes. So a lot of people are saying that they feel sleepy after doing this thing. Right. Because now they are done with all the tension which is accumulated. All lymph has been, you know, done with. So now they are pretty relaxed. <laughs> so you can. Yes. And this thing with going little circular massage okay. for the 
you start from the outer corner of the eye and then we just go inside going over okay. the eyebrow giving circular yeah. massage so it took 10 seconds of thing and it will you know give you that long term result absolutely another very common uh, problem roshika which we face is with our faces you know the skin tone a lot of people have uneven skin tone so is there anything in face yoga which helps us to deal with that as well yes so see as i told you face yoga what does it do improve your blood circulation it's improve your lymphatic drainage so improve right. blood circulation means better glow better skin so and when we are we have the better lymphatic drainage so obviously then that will end up giving you much more glow and the overall healthy skin okay so we don't have a separate you know exercise or I, thing like that uh can you hear me now so i can tell you one yeah it's fine okay so i'll tell you one quick exercise for improving the blood circulation in our entire face area okay so what we are supposed to do is just drop our jaw a little like this okay pressing our yes little narrow and little little more okay and then yeah hmm and then you what you're supposed to do is just look up like this you'll feel the stretch yes look up and stay yeah. there for 10 yes you'll feel the stretch okay and stay there for 10 seconds let's do it together okay, okay. just drop your jaw a little and look up and stay there for 10 seconds 1 2 Mm, 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 come back i don't know how it makes me <laughs> it's okay you know face will make you look funny obviously but it will give you the long term result okay right. <laughs> this particular exercise what does it do it improves the blood circulation in the entire area you must have felt the stretch here it was yes right here yes so it is again very very good for your eyelid for the droopy eyelid okay so if you do this particular exercise in a set of 3 10 seconds increase it to the 15 seconds okay mm -hmm. every day morning evening you will feel result for sure perfect you know you have given us some like amazing amazing tips be it uh, to work around our jaw line or blood circulation areas around our eyes any any quick tip on uh, any other quick tip which you think we should know as you know because to practice face yoga which would add on uh, to our practice any quick tip you have self order double chin see double chin again yeah. okay Problem. And you want to add something, you know? Why do we have double chin? Again, this is because of our our regular habit. See, while working on food, how do we work? You just notice we just work like this, pushing our chin too much towards our chest. So again, it's giving the illusion of the double chin. Even though though I don't have that, so it will give that thing. So with continual practice. you will develop that double chin while working mm -hmm. on the lap what do you do you work like this why you what you can do you can adjust your skin i mean screen accordingly you can adjust your phone just lift up a phone a bit and you will notice it will not make any difference to your work but this will really help you to get that sharp jaw line and get rid of the double chin so like this is like a good position like if i'm yes. sitting like yeah okay so when you are sitting no just make sure the back of your head your shoulder blades and your tailbone it's aligning okay it should not be like this okay your right. posture really you know makes a lot of difference so we should really give a lot of attention towards our posture what we maintain okay so here i just want to i can tell you people a quick exercise 
for the double chin it is very very easy this is called the kiss the ceiling okay <laughs> so, <laughs> so what I'm interesting to do <laughs> yeah so just start you know just start sending your kisses to the ceiling or you know some just imagine you kissing some tall man or something like that <laughs> so what you supposed to do just pucker a mouth a little like this see here again don't pucker too much I mean, don't pout like why because we are getting those deep down lines try okay. to pucker a little yes try to pucker a little look up and start kissing for the 10 times like see i what i'm doing okay <laughs> so you will feel that stretch you will get that stretch in your neck area okay and then there is one more counter pose involved here just come back and smile we okay. need to smile because we are causing little bit of line why even while we are puckering a little we are still getting those lines to soothe out those lines we are smiling so is it to say that pouting is not a good thing to do like we always pout for our pictures you <laughs> get pouted at come on for a second or two For how long do we pause? We just pause for a second or two, and you can know, always that, smile after that. <laughs> yes, we always smile after that. Very true. As I said, we don't want any extra lines because of exercise. So while we are exercising, we don't want any extra deep lines, right? right? So that's why we can, you know, work a little, pout a little, and then smile. Smile. <laughs> anything while we sleep you know does our sleep posture have any effect to on our you know facial muscles or our postures does that affect us in any way it makes a lot of difference you can just imagine um like on an average we try to get sleep for at least 6 to 7 hours so this is a pretty yeah. long time so just imagine what you are doing you are just sleeping on one particular side always what you are doing see i'm getting those lines right i'm just squishing my face to my pillow and i'm getting those lines and because of gravity all the side is coming down and whereas this side is little up so okay. what is happening this is causing a symmetry to the face right and plus lines see many times shweta maybe you can you notice will get up in the morning and you see some deep line have you know come up all of the sudden why is it so it is because of your wrong sleep posture so i always suggest people to sleep on back though it is little tough it will take some time to be adapted but it is actually a best posture to sleep right i think you have given us such yeah. amazing insights and the way you have demonstrated and explained each part of it like it leaves us with so much of clarity and i i already know you know what are the things that i need to implement now where am i going wrong and these are like such easy things which i can say that we can implement it at one you know we can just start with it and exactly. the best part is you have start correcting your posture it is like so beautifully that it leaves us with no scope of doubt you know so I'm it's we <laughs> yes <laughs> and i'm deep, sure. deep science goes behind the face yoga it's about your posture right. it's about the way you sit and stuff so it's not just the exercise as i told you face yoga is not about the just come here do exercises and go no it's about lot of signs going behind posture right. then goal sleep the way you eat you know it, it also makes a lot of difference okay <laughs> so we have to be now mindful of everything which we are doing and although we want to our face to look good but i think we are just taking care of it by just to you know external factors i would say by applying creams or cosmetics but we don't really work on it internally which would the last really really long but that's the part we are missing out on so you know you know we can use a lot of tools deep right. is you must notice lot of tools are coming uh, you right. know they're getting 
like these jade rollers it really helped a lot and it looked you know very smart also so what does it do it helps into the better penetration of the product what we use secondly again it helps in the lymphatic drainage like what we are doing we are taking the lymph out and then getting it down it helps stimulating the muscles so you know these facial tools are really really important so every time we apply cream we should use them we can use it every morning if the jade roller we can use morning evening after our daily ritual okay, okay. so there are various tools like there is tool called gua sha this is for yes. the sculpting see this is for that chiseled jaw line okay <laughs> so this this i don't think use morning evening no because this is a very very hard stone but yes jade roller you can use any time you wow i think you know lot of people are not aware of these tools all this catching up now but even though we know it's there we do not probably know the proper usage of it so now we know how to correctly use it yes uh ruchika before we wrap up any last quick tip which you would want to leave us with because i'm sure like people the audience has a lot of clarity already so but from your end any one quick tip last quick tip which you have for us so it's like the consistency is the key secondly in face yoga we believe self love is really important if you feel good inside it will radiate on your face you said for something for the glow on the face it is nothing but the self love if you love yourself you know then you start growing so at least do that wow exercise what i told you every day <laughs> okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, i am definitely going to start my day with wow now <laughs> yes, please do that and please contact me for for the one to one consultation that i can tell you better mm-hmm. yes yes and, absolutely yeah. guys she does lot of one on one consultations so i think there will be a lot of people who will be now getting in touch with you because we really need to work on our faces so i'm sure people will be getting in touch with you thank you thank you thank you so much rujika for this wonderful session and you have demonstrated each part so beautifully and with so much of clarity i'm sure you know we have taken back so much So thank you Ruchika once again for being on the show and guys you can follow the page Shweta Sareka official for more updates what coming up next and I'll be back soon again next week till then bye bye and thank you to Ruchika once again for being on the show thank lovely you. having you here thank you bye